So each one of these paragraphs will have a different number of columns using the this point forward method. So position your cursor right at the beginning of the red paragraph here and we'll put two columns. So click Layout tab, Columns, More Columns, and two columns, this point forward, and everything from that point forward will be two. And just have a look and notice that uh, the section break is put on. Now, unfortunately, we cannot see it. It would be somewhere, it's probably underneath this box. So let's just keep going. Uh, the blue paragraph will have one column from this point forward. So place your cursor there. Layout, breaks, whoops, sorry, columns, more columns, back to one, this point forward. Now it changes everything from that point forward, and this time the section break is not uh, hidden. It has been put there. So it only puts uh, that one break there. Uh, go on to the green paragraph and put in three columns. So layout columns, more columns, three, and again just repeat the steps and you can see that each time it puts in that section break continuous uh, before. Now there wasn't enough material for three columns but as soon as we go on to the next one, purple, which was two columns. So I don't find this method very handy if everything's going to change. Uh, if you have a lot of stuff after this. Uh, so I th think we're back to two. And you can see now the green has flowed into three. And there isn't enough. As soon as we change the yellow, uh, paragraph to one column, this one will go into two. It's just right now we'd have to force it maybe with a column break to force it to the second column and then you will go on to the next one, the yellow and one point. So same old, same old. More columns, one column, this point forward. Okay, so it puts in the section breaks for you. Yes.